Frankie Stotts on the Honda. Jeremy Teasley on the Suzuki GSX-R1000, two of the quickest in the world. Teasley off of his record smashing 643, Stotts off a of career best 649. Are we set for more history? Who will win the XDA Super Bike Showdown? It has been a historic, record smashing, exciting event, and it all culminates right here with two 1000s. They were the Busa killers today. The light power to weight ratio, the long wheelbase, the technology, the talented riders. It all came together to produce this epic mammoth final. Who you got, guys? Honda versus Suzuki. Teasley and Stotts. Two of the best in the game today. Pretty even off the line. Two great 60 foots. We are bar to bar. What a drag race scoreboard. Far end says, oh, 642 to a six. 46, the first side by side 40, the quickest of all time. We lose. A 40. Congratulations. 642, Teasley wins it. How about that, Crow? He picks up another one. Congratulations. How about that? That's got to be one of the most significant passes in the history of motorcycle drag racing. A new Pro Street World Record Can you believe these numbers? Unbelievable. Wow. We've gained almost two tenths since the first race of the season because I'm pretty sure the first race in the spring, they said, who's going to be the first into the sixes? And now we're in the lower fours. It's we're going for the 30s now. They're catching those top fuel times. It's crazy. Crazy. Everybody buzzing. What an event. Man, and poor Frankie Stotts goes to 646 and loses. But congratulations to that whole squad. Team DME, Jeremy Teasley, what a weekend. This is one we will never forget. Like I said, please share this video with a friend because if you know anybody who rides a motorcycle, they've got to see this street tire performance. Unreal. Teasley enjoying the trophy and Jeremy the Jeremy Teasley, a new world record, two wins. How you feeling here with your crew and your friends? Uh, that's awesome. Uh, a few last few races have been pretty bad, so this stuff makes up for it. No doubt, guys. Let's hear it for Jeremy Teasley. Woo! All right, Jeremy, unbelievable. Can you help me pick my job off the floor? I've been in this sport a long time. I didn't think I'd see a 642. Neither would I. Um, to be honest, um, might just keep going faster. Well, ever since it's been built, it's been going left, right. Hold on one second, let's let those bikes go down. You never really get comfortable on the bike. It's always been going left or right or wheelie. So finally, I think we got pretty much all the bugs worked out, I would say. And uh, that's to Andy and uh, Demi and Chris and Steve, Kyle, obviously. But um, I don't know, I just get to ride the bike. We really didn't change the tune up too much from none of the passes today. It's just me riding it better. So, you know, without them, I couldn't do none of this. That's AM on the real street bike, so AM uh, performance uh, real street bike. I, I was shooting 459, but I went a 63 against AM uh, in a semi, so he, uh, he couldn't be mad about that. He went a 67, I went a 63, so it's side by side. Where does this weekend stand in your all time career? It's got to be up there. It's definitely up there. I'm not sure where, but it's definitely in the top two or three. Where do we go from here? Is there actually more left in that bike? I really don't know, to be honest. Um, I would say probably not, but I guess we'll just find out next race. Congratulations, JT. Thank you. What a remarkable, memorable, and epic event it was at Maryland International Raceway. And congratulations to that team as well. Frankie Stotts at any other race would have run the table and won. But when you're competing against world records, up. Very arduous and challenging, but they turned the turbo up and it benefited them. Honda leaves with a new personal best of 646. 
I moved it up three mile an hour. I yelled it as I drove by. It just like it's a If I told you guys pre race, you're going to the final and you're going to run a 46, would you believe me if I told you it wasn't going to be good enough to win? told me you're going to the final, I expect to go to the final. I, I do everything I can to make sure that happens, but a 46 and lose, that's that's amazing. But it was fun. I'll lose that way any day. Does it feel like a win? Uh, yeah, considering that we've we've been down a mile an hour for the past 10 years or so and couldn't really find it. And then now we've uh, got some great spots behind us and we finally found it. Is there anything left in this machine? I mean, to just pick up performance. I told yeah. Frankie, I'm still stuck in Valdosta mode when a 660 was the greatest thing I ever saw. And now you got a tenth and a half in less than a year. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's more in it because we just found the horsepower between web cams, Vansonine's doing the head, Andy from DME helping me with the cam timing, and Steve, with the, Steve from Max ECU uh, got me a set of coils that really likes to fire it all. We, the whole combination is part of what we were missing. And uh, now we find some more, so maybe we can do something with it. Amazing, guys. And something more. Well, congrats on a great weekend and a great show. Thank you, Mark. So a little pro stock motorcycle head technology now coming to Pro Street. Here's the question. Where do we go from here, guys? In eight years, this class picks up half a second. In less than a year, they pick up almost two-tenths. What is next? for Pro Street Motorcycle. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this round by round coverage. Had a great time at Maryland International Raceway watching the quickest street tire motorcycles in the world. My jaw is still on the ground from Jeremy Teasley's record setting performance, a 642, 222 in the final. Frankie was 217 miles an hour. I know a lot of you want to know the exact numbers and everything. The run sheets for the total event can be found on the CycleDrag.com Facebook page. If you want to go there and look in the photo albums, you can see every single reaction time, every single elapsed time, every single mile an hour. I know a lot of you guys want to see that. But please, above all, leave us your feedback. What do you think of this? What's your explanation for technology advancing so quickly? And finally, do make sure you're subscribed to Cycle Drag on YouTube and you like CycleDrag.com on Facebook. You'll never miss an update. You'll never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for all the comments, the support, and watching. We're growing at a nice pace here. Not, not as quick as the Pro Street class, but definitely growing on social media and YouTube. So we thank you. We'll continue to travel the globe to bring you the most impressive motorcycles out there. Drag bikes, street bikes, rallies. Supercross, motocross, you name it. We cover it all here on Cycle Drag. Please subscribe and like. Thank you very much. Really want to thank all of our sponsors that make these videos possible as well. Thank you, APE, Webcam, Trimtex, Track Dynamics, Orient Express, Pingle, Liska, MPS, McKinney Motorsports, Timbaland Chassis, Adams Performance, Dunnigan Racing, Brock's Performance, HTP, RC Components, Vantine Racing, Carpenter Race Engines, Projack, Laser, Growthist Drag Bikes, US Chrome, Wozner Pistons, Dahl GMS Performance, Steve Huff Motorsports Advanced Sleeves, Chris Matheson, Man Cup Motorcycle Drag Racing, Macintosh Machine and G-Built, Kibble White Performance, SRW M2 Shock, Spevco, Final Swipe, Fuel Tech. Thank you so much, everybody, who helps us get out there on the road and pay some of these massive travel bills. We're going to keep doing it because we love motorcycles. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day.